if fate cannot be changed because it's preordained, and if destiny can be altered because you have choices and free will to do the right thing or correct your mistakes, then what's the relationship between fate, destiny, and karma? Is that a good topic to talk about here? Well, I have only a few minutes to explain to you in a concise way. So I will just summarize it. Fate is almost fixed because there's a supernatural power that pushes, pushes it to become fixed. That's what they say. But I think destiny is not preordained. You have the choice to alter your destiny by planning your life, by allocating time, resources, your talent, and your will to satisfy the needs and requirements of your family life, your career life, your social life and contribution to society, your health life and your spiritual life. These five key areas of life is where karma plays in your life. So when you can determine how you can plan all these five key areas of life in the most profitable way where you can benefit yourself, your family, and the environment and society in the most advantageous way. Then you can alter your uh, weaknesses to become virtues with decisions to make them your strength rather than weaknesses. You can plan a project called your positive karma, determining your destiny, and plan how you can satisfy your social contribution to the utmost of the benefits you can plan ahead, and your health to be improved by certain measures, your spirituality to be more enlightened through a self-mastery curriculum, and your career to be upgraded and expanded, not just extended to a new career. And so your family life can be managed with a planning and leading your family with virtues and character development and a mission to evolve your family into a contributing family in the environment and communities. So you can alter your destiny because you have the free will to do the right thing. So even if you had mistakes in the past, you can correct and rectify them so that you turn your mistakes into wisdom. You turn your weaknesses into virtues and strength. So these are things that we teach and we will discuss this in my program called Neutralizing Your Karma and Heal Your Life and I'm teaching it in different cities of India, and I'm so proud to say that we can dissect the causes of suffering and pain, and what areas of life is these affecting you, and what karma happens when, in your birthdays and your age. There are age in your life, like your years of your life, this incarnation from your birthday, that determines when negative karma arrives and when positive karma arrives. If you know when to catch the positive karma and use them to ground your, your ideas and your goals, and you know when the negative karma arrives in your life, you can neutralize them ahead of time. Then you can manage your life and manage your destiny. And when you can uh, chart your age, you know, from say your age to a 70 year program, where you can determine the purpose of each age, and you can neutralize the karma before it happens at a certain age. Like 45 year olds, there's more karma happening that's negative. And when you're 48, 49, there's negative karma happening also. But when you're 42 going to 43, positive karma tends to arrive during that age. So with 35 to 36, so with 28 to 29. So depending on your age, you can harvest good karma and use it to neutralize your negative karma and use it to bring opportunities in your life and prog prosper and progress and be well. So you can neutralize your negative karma by certain methods. You cannot mitigate maybe all the risks that negative karma brings, like the boomerang effects of negative karma that we did earlier, but you can mitigate some of their big consequences. You will be able to do uh, a neutralization of negative karma within the limits of your tolerance and threshold. And that's good, because instead of losing your whole eye, when you can neutralize the karma of losing your eye and you can only use, you can only lose your eyelash or uh, you had a black eye but you can repair the eyes, then that's a good deal. Or instead of losing your limb because 
of certain accidents and you are able to neutralize it because you did the right thing ahead of time and you probably use, lose only a nail in your toes. That's already very good. So there are methods by which negative karma can be neutralized, but maybe not totally mitigated unless you have a good sizable donations to decree with good deeds to decree to neutralize your karma or you have rectified your mistakes, you have healed your, your life that's traumatic and you can forgive a lot of people who have given you some misery and you have asked forgiveness from people you have hurt yourself and you have forgiven yourself as well. So for at least four hours we will be grinding a discussion and make sure that you are checking all the causes and possible causes of your negative karma in terms of your individual karma, your family karma, your um, group karma, your industry karma, your ancestral karma, and even your karma with your constellation connected to your stars. There are karma that is brought to you during birth and conception. So this can be seen and charted. And I like to impart this wisdom and knowledge that I have amassed in many decades of my research and also being lucky to have four spiritual mentors who have transferred their knowledge and wisdom to me and shared the experiences. And in just a few decades, I was able to collect and integrate this, these teachings to be able to digest it and then impart it to you and accompany it with the healing tools that you can learn yourself. So I have to see you there and help you with neutralizing your karma and healing your life. See you soon. Namaskar.